All right, guys, we are back today, me and my cameraman, Brett, with the Pawn Shop Find Challenge again. I love making this video, and I think you guys like it too. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but today we are doing the $250 challenge. Neither of us can spend more than $250 on a gun or a series of guns, and you guys are gonna be the judge at the end of this video. Before we get too far into it, I do wanna give a huge shout out to North Tac for sponsoring the video. They've got the code 704TACTICAL for 20% off anything on their website, including a ton of optics and magnifier combos, but more about them in a minute. We're gonna go in, and this is the store, Beltway Gun and Pond, that we did last time, and we're gonna head over to American Pond and Gun, where Brett got the big wrench. So we're doing a little bonus. If you spend 250 on like the gun, you get an extra $20 buffer if you get like a secondary, like large wrench or weapon, something like that. So you guys be the judge, but let's head in here and see what they have and check out some unique guns as well as do the $250 challenge. Well, they have $5 tables and a whole bunch of other stuff a and a scooter. Hey! You was waiting for us? I'm busy being the housekeeper of the store since no one else cleans. Oh! Shots fired. So this one's pretty good right here, but I've already got a ton of these, but this would be well within the price range for the challenge. What you looking at, Brett? I'm not looking at it on purpose. This is horrible. <laughs> unless, unless you like that. I mean, not, not my cup of tea. Yeah. Yep, you never know when you need a, gl a glitter block. They've got them here. Also, if you tell them that 704 Tactical sent you over to Beltway, you actually get 10% off everything or anything in their shop, including the Glitter Glock. These guys also have a ton of surplus rifles in stock and a whole selection of SKSs. So there's some good options in here. There's actually a Bursa Thunder in 380. I've always recommended these and they're always an affordable price. This one seems to be pretty good this may be an option or a contender but I already have one I don't know if I need two of them but this is always pretty cool so that's actually a Luger copy this is Stoger. a Stoger 22 long rifle that is really cool you were looking at that that's out of the price range it's out of the price I'm looking at this for personal reasons <laughs> it even toggles up like a real German Luger that is pretty cool they also have a ton of 22 pistols in stock. That's just your size. You know, honestly, I think it's perfect, like just pocket carry. They also have an entire selection of collectible Colts that are pretty neat, but again, well out of the price range for today's challenge, but very interesting nonetheless. There's a good one right there. You already have one of those, don't you? Uh, the rough and, and rowdy. rough and rowdy? Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool right there. So this is one of the Henry survival rifles where the barrel removes and then fits into the stock. And this one was a pretty good price. So it is in within the, the price range of the challenge. This may be an option today, but this is pretty cool. Now we are hunting the extras. This is where we found the big wrench last time. Yeah, that's a big pipe wrench. That's pretty good right there. Substantially heavier than the big wrench. Yeah. There's also a mini, sc <laughs> mini scooter that's very enticing. Um, every time we say we're not going to adapt the challenge, but there may be exceptions for mini scooters. <laughs> I, I don't think it has to be a part of the challenge. So we I could think, just, get, just you know. get a mini scooter. Yeah, we 
And they also have this guy right here, which is pretty cool. I don't know if this falls within the $250 challenge, but it is pretty darn neat. So Brett saw this, which looks pretty cool, a little black powder pepper box. Looks like it's never been fired. That is pretty cool, and that falls within the challenge price. So this is pretty cool as well. It's the 45410 version of the Bond Arms Derringer. So this one actually takes 410 shotgun shells and um, 45 long colt. And this is within the price range as well. So this may be a contender. Oh, Price. Yes, sir. We, Brett is trying to get a good deal on this thing. We need to know to see if it's gonna fit into the challenge. You'll hold it first before I go look and see what we can do on it? Does that have the uh, threaded barrel on there? So that one does have a threaded barrel adapter actually underneath that you can uh, put the half by 28 threads. And then what's this? Boom. I think Brett might have found a winner. So we found a lot of good stuff in there, but we've got to check out American Pawn and Gun because we were going down there. So they've got the scooter, right? They've got some choppers, the little different uh, sword things. They've got the Walther, which they're gonna drop down to our budget. So that's yeah, a really that's good awesome. option. They've got the Henry and they've got the Derringer. So a ton of good options mm -hmm. here, but we're gonna check out American and no matter what, we're gonna swing by on the way back to at least try the scooter while they charge it up. All right, just pulled up to American Pawn and Gun in Monroe, North Carolina. We're gonna go in there and uh, see what they got. Should be pretty good. Let's see what they got. Greg. Mima, Mima's here. How are you? Good. These guys have a ton of stuff and they just put out some new stuff this week. So we're gonna dig through. I'm always coming in here and looking around, but I think he did just put out a ton of new things. Is that a light rack 22 with a red trigger? Yeah. Um, snap. So that's aftermarket. I, I love my LCP 22, but I've never seen one with that trigger. Do you know how many mags this comes with? Uh, I believe one. One mag? Okay, this just became like top of the list contender for me. Um, so that is pretty awesome. I'm gonna play with that trigger a little bit and see uh, what this one. So we are putting that to the side to think about and we are digging through some more stuff. This one is uh, way, way out of the price range, but this is the SL86 HK. This is pretty darn cool. It takes the proprietary HK mag, um, but this is a very interesting one, that's for sure. Might be cool to get out to the range, but definitely out of today's budget, but just wanted to show you guys. Brett found them another baby blaster. <laughs> that is... The craziest, do your fingers even fit in there? No. <laughs> it's like a toy. Is that chambered in 22? Yep. A single shot 22. Cricket precision. Hey, yeah. There you go. I'm thinking a thousand yards, easy with it. Easy. But it's actually got a decent trigger on it. A 40 cal Astra, definitely in the budget today. Yep. You never know what you'll find at a pawn shop. You know, there's always something different and unique there. So Greg had this one right here, a high point in 45 ACP. Now I have one of these, but I don't have one with the threaded barrel. And I've always wanted one because that 45 ACP round just shoots subsonic standard out of the box. So this is definitely a contender. There are so many options today for this $250 challenge. I may, I may have to do the 250 challenge twice and cheat, but we'll keep them as independent things that you guys can vote on down below. But um, this one is definitely on the list to think about. All right, Gray's gonna go work me the deal of a lifetime. That's what I'm saying. Mima, you think I'm gonna get a deal? <laughs> Mima doesn't think so. All right, I think the first purchases have been made. 
I think we're going to grab these. He's going to look at a couple of things I brought in for trade, and then we'll touch base with you guys after that. But I am pretty pumped about these selections, and I think I'm not doing too shabby. So we worked out a trade. We got everything squared away. I'm definitely going to win this, but Brett has to go back and grab... Um, scooter. The scooter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to make an offer on the scooter. So while Greg is doing the paperwork, I was looking at some watches. There's a nice Seiko right there. I've got a Tissot or however you pronounce it. He's got some pretty cool stuff in here to check out. Greg also has one of the Lever Action Henry 410s. I know those were hard to find. Definitely out of the price range today, but that was an interesting find as well that we saw. All right, so we got some stuff and now on to the back to beltway to check out to see if that scooter's charged up and uh, see if brett grabs something to compete with me but american uh, got me all hooked up with the good stuff we are back to make things happen <laughs> grab some stuff maybe try the scooter and then we'll head back to the range and actually shoot some of this stuff and have you guys vote on who won there you go That's it, Brett, right there. And your safety belt. Yeah. You need the safety belt. That's awesome. Uh, all right, Brett, show us what you're made of. If you get smacked by a semi truck, I'm not liable. Go, Brett. That's the winner right there. Gotta lean down for maximum speed. That's hilarious. So the scooter's pretty cool. How was the buy? Uh, we need to know the best price on your scooter, sir. <laughs> we need to uh, work out a deal on the scooter. Brett is pondering the scooter, but grabbing the Walther that we looked at earlier that they made him a deal on. So uh, after that, we'll head back to the range, maybe with or without a scooter, but uh, who, who knows? Who knows? Brett grabbed the Walther. Now we're heading back to the range to do some blasting. So we are down at the range, ready to blast the guns we have. And for a recap, I actually got both of these for 200 each from American Pawn and Gun. So we're just gonna do them as independent challenges. We always break the rules a little bit with these challenges. So this is the first $250 challenge and we were under it by 50 bucks. So a high point chambered in 45 ACP with one red ball mag with a little surface rust right there. Overall though, the gun's in fairly good shape and it's got the threaded barrel, which we'll be doing more videos about. So there's that one for 200, this one was mine. This was the LCP2 Light Rack. So this is a pretty cool gun that I already have one of, and I've really fallen in love with it, but somebody swapped out the trigger and it was a good price. This was 200 bucks and it came with the original trigger, the pocket holster and everything there. And then Brett grabbed the Walther P22, which I've always been interested in this gun. So it'll be really cool to try it out. Such a cool little gun, but he was 250. So you can start voting in the comment section below who won. Uh, Brian won. Me, 704 Tactical High Point, Brian 704 Tactical Ruger, or the Walter. But let's get to shooting and start blasting stuff. And I do want to give a huge shout out to North Tac Optics for sponsoring this video. These guys are insanely tough, and this one has been dropped from a 40 foot shooting tower, shot with a 12 gauge shotgun, run over with the truck, and it works great. Still, it's got auto on and auto off technology, very long battery life, and a waterproof rating. They also have the M10, which is a squared off large frame red dot back in stock, and they have combos with flip to side magnifiers that come in at $199. After my discount code 704 Tactical for 
for 20% off, you can actually get some of those combos for as low as 160, and that code is valid on everything on their website. So a huge shout out to North Tech for sponsoring this video. All the information and linking will be in the description below. All right, first up, the high point with the strap and the thing that goes up. Let's take some shots with this thing. Well, it chambered around. That's pretty cool. So it actually runs. It's not that bad with recoil. It's got the threaded barrel 45 ACP, $200. You could throw a little red dot on top of there. That's a pretty good pawn shop find. So I'm really liking this, but now for my uh, little LCP2 light rack. All right, so here's a little LCP2 light rack with the uh, custom trigger. Let's see if it even fires. Maybe somebody put the trigger in and it <laughs> turned it back in because it didn't work, but here we go. got an issue so i've had some issues with this ammo with light primer strikes in the past i'm going to try to find some more in my truck but first up the same ammo and brett's walther maybe it'll be more reliable than this guy right here All right, the redemption for the LCP2 light rack. I've got some CCI velocitors and mini mags in here. And the, all, the other light rack that I have runs these perfectly. So if it chokes up on this, then we know it's a problem with the gun. So I had an idea. I think I'm actually gonna shoot the North Tech Ronin with the 22 just to see how tough it is. This has been running a little bit better. Maybe it needed to be broken. I'll keep playing with different ammo and I'll update you guys, but um, still vote in the comment section below which one is your favorite. But now let's shoot this North Tech with some 22. Got it. So a direct hit on the optic itself and it is still on. I'm gonna steal my camera from my cameraman. But guys, that optic is still on and it absolutely survived. That is a tough optic and a testament to the Ronin series of optics. It's literally bulletproof. All right, guys, well, I hope you liked the video. That North Tech optic was insanely impressive. This was a fun one to make. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Who won, as well as what challenge do you want to see next? I think the $250 price point was pretty darn cool, but let us know what kind of challenges you want to see, and hopefully we'll get some more guest appearances on these Pawn Shop Find videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.